Elemental is one of the most okay Pixar films that I've ever seen, and I really don't have too many thoughts on it. This whole movie can really be summed up in, it's okay. But of course, like everyone else, I do have some thoughts on it and some problems with it, so let's talk about it. First of all, I feel like the film is really unengaging. I really can't recall the last time that I saw a Pixar film or a Disney film or any animated film really that I was so uninterested in. At least some of Disney Pixar's recent films like Turning Red or Luca, at least there was some engagement or some level of interest that I had in the story. This was a film that for some reason I just couldn't get into. I wasn't that interested in the universe that it created because, well, yes, it is unique and you really haven't seen anything quite like it before, it does remind me of better universes like Zootopia, Wreck-It Ralph, other movies that did similar universes and worlds that I just found so much more interesting. Sure, I'll remember the style of this film because there really is no other film like Elemental, but at the same time, the universe that it creates just isn't that interesting, and it just reminds me of better films. I also wasn't that interested in the characters of Elemental. I wasn't a fan of this water guy. I guess Ember was an okay character, but a lot of these characters are just okay. They're just okay. There's nothing I can really say about them that, yeah, I liked this attribute about the character. I liked this aspect of the character. They're just okay. I also wasn't that interested in the idea of elements having emotions because it feels like it's become the sort of Pixar trope formula by this point. Let's give cars emotions, let's give monsters emotions, let's give toys emotions, let's give emotions emotions, let's give souls emotions. That's really the kind of formula that Pixar has been developing over the years and they continue to do it really really well until now. A lot of people like Inside Out or they like Toy Story, but this is a film where you give something emotions and it just doesn't equal an amazing story. At times I see what they were going for because they were trying to tell a different kind of story, and the kind of universe that they created was the kind of universe that a story like this could work in. But like I said, there's so many aspects of the film that I just find uninteresting. I will admit though, it's not like they weren't trying, the voice acting's great, the animation's amazing, but again, it's not that they weren't trying to make a good film, it's that they didn't end up making a good film. One of the biggest aspects of the film is that it's a drama and there's a lot of this inner conflict with a lot of the characters, but like I said earlier, I'm not that interested in most of the characters, so I'm not really interested in any of the drama that they partake in. If I'm not really interested in the characters a part of the drama, then why would I care about the drama itself? I really wasn't interested in Ember and whatever that water character's name was. I just wasn't at all interested in what was going to happen because I kind of knew how it was going to end. I knew it was going to end in this third act breakup. There was going to be some, oh no, I can't do this, but I have to do this. And I knew there was going to be some reconciliation at the end. I already knew what was going to happen. And the whole romance between them isn't that interesting either because these characters don't have an insane amount of chemistry where you want to watch more of them together and they also aren't that interesting as characters on their own. While I guess Ember had some personality with the anger management, I didn't care much for this water guy Wade. He kind of got on my nerves at times and I just saw him as a really standard character. I think one of the best ways to describe this film is that it's a weak Pixar film. Pixar films are known to have very powerful messages, powerful stories, and powerful characters, but this is a rare occasion of actually having a really weak Pixar film. The story, the characters, the universe, none of it is really that interesting, none of it is very strong. There's elements here and there that are kind of strong, but even then, it's always overshadowed by something that isn't that interesting. So I guess that's my final verdict on this film. It's a weak Pixar film. Pixar is known for having these really powerful stories, but this is just one of their weaker stories. It's not a horrible movie by any means, but like I said, it's one of Pixar's weaker films, and definitely one that I don't think I'll be re-watching anytime soon.
I guess if you have two hours to waste and you're somewhat interested in the film, then I guess it's okay to watch. I'm not telling anybody not to watch this film because it's okay. There's nothing that wrong with it, but there's also not much that's great about it. Like I said, one of Pixar's weaker stories, not a horrible film, but just okay. But what do you guys think of Elemental? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching, God bless you guys, and I'll see you all next time.